Hey guys, we're back. This is Vaping Cuz. I'm George. My name is Michael, and we're here to do a Clapton coil. So today to make the Clapton coil, you will be needing uh, some tape, set of screwdrivers, ceramic tweezers, scissors, ohm reader, wire cutters, pliers, and another screwdriver. And the most important part, you'll be needing a dripper. And today the dripper we've got is a El Diablo sub-ohming dripper. Yeah, dripper for a tank with a oh, wide wait. enough space. Did you mention about the 26 gig? Oh, yeah. That's on yeah. wire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, we're going to need two strips. About what is that? A foot? Uh, that is a subway size sandwich. So that is, yes. Foot. That is a foot. Uh, a foot of wire. Uh, we're using the 26 gauge, the American wire gauge, though. I don't know if it works on the other gauge. Uh, the problem is, we ran out. So, <laughs> that is luckily all we've enough, got. we have two strips. Of uh, you know, a foot each. Oh, and we need a drill. So in this part, we need to have the drill ready, and one of the bits of uh, you know, foot long wire, and stuck it. This part is really advisable just to be one person doing it, because otherwise it's gonna wobble all over the place. Right. Make sure it's tight. Grab your pliers. Don't go crazy speed on it. Oh yeah, we and are. you have to put tension on it. You have to pull the, the and wire. Be sure to cover your eyes because sometimes it happens the wire breaks and it might jump into your face. <coughs> All right, let's a bit faster than that, please. Oh, we get a bit scared here. All right, let's go, guys. <coughs> go faster, faster. So, and you'll have a perfectly straight wire. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that. That's straight. Well, I don't know what, what, what mine goes left and right. Alright, <laughs> right, you've done that one. We need a drill again. How do we? Done that next one. Okay. Stop turning it. Sorry, guys. I can't, I can't resist it. It's the last wire we have. I forgot about that. We'll make right. do. Grab the ends of it with the pliers. Ready. Pull it. Go. Well, you can do this by yourself, just don't look at the thing. Go! That's it. And we have another straight string. String? Camphor wire. You should now have two camphor wires ready to do your dual coiled staple. Your sta captain coil. Your stapled captain coil. If you want to do just a single, just use one. You can just use one, but we're using two to do a dual. The method is exactly the same. Now we just need one other aspect. We need more campo uh, wire, so we should have a thinner gauge. What you want to do next is twist the ends of the two central campo wires. You can even bend them if you wish, squeeze them together as long as they don't go anywhere. Can you hold the drill, please? Thank you. Put it in there. Oh, not yet. Then you need the one long bit of a thin gauge camp of wire. I think the gauge we're using is what? What is it? 20? 22? I've got no idea. About 22. 32. And you want to wrap it around the end so it's like all one wire so it doesn't go anywhere. Alright, shove it in the drill. <laughs> yeah, buddy, shove it in there, there. Tighten it up, yay. Yeah. Right, now you have to be sure you go the same right way. way. Now it has to be one person doing this. If it's two, it's a nightmare. Right, right. I will step out of this and let the master get in. Right, let's just okay. start slowly. Oh, that's what the tape was for, I forgot. Bit of tape. Be sure that you have both wires. Yeah, yeah, do that. Thank you. You have both wires completely flat to each other and just hold the, hold the end of it. I'm going to be useful in this video. I'm going to go to the end and make sure it doesn't bounce up and down and wiggle. You always bounce up. 
and we're handling it. Yep. So, bear with me. There you go. So I'm gonna start while you turn around. What I'm doing is I'm putting my fingers and my nails really close so I can get the you know the, the wire to wrap almost upon itself but not upon itself. Just really tight together. And there I go. And it should start to wrap itself. My nail was getting so hot right now. <laughs> yeah, as long as you keep your nails, or nails or fingers, are really close to the thing. I'll show you in the close-up after like a picture of the position I normally put my hands in. So you have a good look. On the end, just, you know, go over itself a little bit, just secure. And that's it. Now, you can start. Don't worry about the twists in it. You can always turn it back to the right position. If you're doing a single coil platen, you have none of these problems. And it should end up with a bit of strain. Like that. Yeah mate? Fantastic, look at that. Oh that's quite good. I think people call it extractions, isn't it? Like a sharp thing. An extraction. You see me build my clapped and coil. You see me building my clapped and coil. We're doing the clapped and coil build on the Mephisto El Diablo. El Diablo. El Diablo. Yes, senor. El so, Diablo. <laughs> As you can see, when I open it up, it's got massive, um, what are they called? Screws. Oh, screws. Yeah, it's got massive screws. <laughs> so, um, whatever sort yeah, of man. coil you have in there. Yeah, man, that trip has some, some big screws. <laughs> it's got to be, it's going to be no problems of anything fitting in there. It's quite wide. It's got a bit of big a... Big cojones. <laughs> so that will be able to uh, stick in there quite easily. So, right, so... Wrapping this bad boy. Man, those holes are above. Jesus. Well, this just is a bit of experience. It's a bit of a... What's that girl's name? Oh, Chicholina. Yeah, it's, it's Chicholina. Let me see if I can fit the screwdriver in there. Because that's just ridiculous. Oh. Almost. Almost. You can fit this one through. Man, that's, it is loose. Well, that's an experienced dripper right there. It's been on the streets for quite a bit of time, so... So, no problems fitting your 26 gauge pimple holder. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. There's no sweat for it. Now, doing the wraps, I will pass it over to my technician here. He's the best. While I do the wraps, you'll keep introducing the details of the El Diablo. El Diablo. George is going to start wrapping the... Uh, Clapton coil. Clapton coil. I'm Clap using a... Uh, about what's that like a three millimeter screwdriver yes yeah so i'm just going to do a wraps like i do on the normal coil and while he's doing that how many wraps are you going to be doing i think about five five wraps oh no this is dual isn't it yeah it's going to be a little low let's do let's do six let's six do wraps six you're going to do a dual coil if we have enough of it absolutely so while he's wrapping that uh in here i've got el el diablo so this el diablo is Designed to be a a dripper's king or queen, it's has massive wells, so you can have enough cotton and juice in there to drip your PG liquid. Uh, VG. VG. If you're going to be dripping, um, it's got again the heads of the screws are really big, so.
so you've got enough uh, tension and torque to put pressure onto the actual um, temporal cables um, to get no hot spots. On the actual outside casing, we have a copper surrounding, and that will allow you to adjust it from a single air channel. So let me adjust that for you. So right now, oh, it, in fact, my apologies. Right now, it's on the dual uh, airflow, and then if you just twist it, it will go into a single uh, airflow, uh, and obviously the other two holes are blocked off. Inside is a concave. I don't know if you can actually see that, but inside is concave uh, to add more, uh, to, to get more flavor. Inside where the 510 connects, there is a, um, ow, that hurt. Sorry. <laughs> uh, there is a Dell ring inside to insulate the heat from transferring to the actual drip tip uh, because you're going to be doing quite low ohm build, builds in there and it's going to burn your lips off. At the bottom of the dripper, you've got a Dell ring to insulate it from the heat transfer either to your mechanical mod or into your uh, variable wattage or voltage uh, mod. So there you have it, you've got the El Diablo, really nicely constructed, um, I find it aesthetically pleasing and very practical. Uh, so if you have gonna... an adjustable sender bridge. It has in fact, thank you for reminding me, I haven't got a screwdriver with me right now. Uh, I'm using it with another one. Oh here we go, thank you very much. The, I thought that the sender post will pop off, but we were taking a look at it very closely, but it, it stayed in place. So again, I can't guarantee it, but this is adjustable uh, 510 bottom pin. Now that we have both platform coils built, let's do an installation on the El Diablo. So I just took this off camera. I'm trying to check if it's touching the outer barrel, which is a little bit on this side. We'll just push it in. Check it again. Be careful because if you touch it, you're gonna have a short. Confirm what on the that is. Ooh, 0.170 on this moment. Right now, we just wanna slowly point it up. Uh, check for hot spots, I know, and stuff like that. Beautiful. Now that it's wicked, everything is set up, we just saturate the coils. Oh, well, not yet. Let's push the cotton back in. I don't need you. We adjusted the coil mm -hmm. literally so that it doesn't touch the outer barrel. Mm -hmm. We wicked it. Uh, we didn't show you how to wick because if you're using a build like this, you're not a beginner. You know how to coil, just coil. You know how to wick your drippers and your batteries and your tanks. And this is definitely not a start pack. Yeah. This is just a monster. It's coming up, it's not the lowest of the build, it's 0 0.2. Because after we put it in here, the thing is reading 0 0.2. Tell you what, we've been using this and uh, it is a juice. Gazama. It's not economical at all. It takes time for it to warm up, but once it gets to its temperature, it fires like a beast. Uh, the, the clapton coil itself soaks up quite a bit of liquid. I think we went a bit over the top with six flaps. We could have done it with five or maybe even four. But that would have mean the ohms would have been quite low. Yeah, but this is like with zero point zero five. Okay, so this is not a <laughs> joke mod. Yeah. So coil itself probably would take 10 drops as, as I was I kept putting drops on it and the cotton is still dry so don't fire it there's fireworks going on there yeah <laughs> all right let's put the cap on let's put the El Diablo El Diablo <laughs> 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 we have the drip tip that comes with it right Sever the tube, we give it a go. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, well, right, so <clears throat> 150 watts, 0.22 ohms. Let's give this a nice little toot. A 
and I've gone out the pictures. This oh, yeah. is a lot of flavor. I would I thought I'd never say this. This is not a cloud chaser. It is a flavor chaser. My what, God, it's Are you warm. telling me that's not a cloud chaser? El Diablo. Ah, la, la, la. I'm going out of the picture again, isn't it? Well, everything's gone out of the picture. You need to give this a go. Wow. But right. wow, that's too much flavor. Oh. Oh, this is the berry crunch. Where's the pineapple one we're using? Pineapple Express from Baby Shark. We got a bag full of this liquid, you know, like a uh, little bag full with 10 liquids of 30 ml bottles of Idris 4 ml nicotine. <coughs> the 4 ml is a bit much for this yeah, type so of this should have been zero. zero. <laughs> oh yeah, just for the record, Vapor Shark just put these liquids through the test. One of the first companies to do it, see if there's any harmful chemicals in it and stuff. So good for them. Well done. That's what we need to see nowadays. Exactly. The content the wood is getting all soaked. Oh, well, we needed some BG vapor towel. <laughs> right. Good luck. There you go. You're going to my funeral, yes? Oh, I'm gonna vape. You're gonna vape at my funeral. Absolutely. Well, this is not fully open. Right. You know, some people they put like a uh, beer on, on the funeral, you know, into the gravestone as respect. Is it? I'll pour like liquid. Oh, you put you. liquid in. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> Diablo. Ooh, it's cold. You may not see this in the video, but this room is filled with cloud. Wow, there is a lot of flavor. I told you. Wow. So the only liquid you can actually, you know, vape in that is just pure VG. Because it's sweet enough on its own. So, yeah. So, that was flavor. I think it's immense and ridiculous amount of it's flavor. <laughs> it is. Probably if we went four wraps, it would be less, but, you know, more normal kind of things. But six wraps, it, man, is a stupid amount of flavor, especially on this Diablo. The, uh, the Diablo actually helps due to the concave uh, walls inside at the top. It uh, concentrates the vapor and flow inside, causing yes. more uh, shallow. It's rounded. Yeah, it's rounded, so it's more shallow, less airspace, meaning it has more concentrated yes. flavor. Yeah, and the the way the air channels are built as well. You have a big slot on the top and you have three tiny dots underneath. So the what's holes. So it's the air across yeah. and underneath. Underneath the floor as well, yeah. Not a bad idea. It looks very smart, uh, but we did have a bit of problems at the start you never saw, but we got there at the end. And that chucks clouds. Let's try this at 200. I'm going to win this. It's going to start pulsing, but good luck, mate. The battery, I don't know if it's going to last. I'm, um, I'm really sorry to say this, but we're using my ruined batteries. We shouldn't be doing this at 200 watts. Oh my goodness. Let me have a go. Uh, oh, pardon me. That was all the vapor. <laughs> <laughs> you filled up the vapor, mate. My <laughs> uh, I feel like I'm drowning. It was, it was pulsing. We need to do this bit quickly because our battery is running low on the camera. Very good. For the rundown of this build and this Atti, two in one, Captain Coil is really designed for flavor chasers and clouds as well, as you've seen. Uh, it's not easy build to do, not in any means. <laughs> uh, yeah, if you have like you know good wire stuff, because we were all running out of all supplies. We had no, we, we, but yeah, we just ran out of uh, cancel wires, so we had a bit of an issue. Yeah, problem was uh, I <laughs> run down, I run out because I've done loads of Clapton practice for this thing. He's an experienced Clapton coil maker, and I just had problems because the wire kept bang snipping, and you didn't see see that. We edited it well out because we were <laughs> good at it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but if you have a good spool of wire. It'll all go smoothly as long as you're grabbing it tight and not too tight though. Enough to you feel the tension of it and just let your hand flow with it. Don't force it. The wire itself, when it starts rolling, uh, not rolling, spinning, spinning, yeah. yeah, spinning, you'll start slowly push your hand out. So just go with the flow, as they say. We'll show little pictures, little uh, snippets of how, yeah. how it's done. Now, again, clapping coils are not really easy to do, it takes a bit of experience. Um, Again, you need to practice. You need a lot of cancel to do practice because it, it take it, it has it takes a bit of a getting used to you're it. You're getting used to it, obviously. Um, but yeah, just take 
to get used to it, just practice again. You ain't gonna get this first time. Yeah, go slow, go slowly. Don't go fast like I did, like just like full speed on the drill. <laughs> That's just not. My fingers are literally on fire. Again, he plays guitar, so his fingers are sort of tough. And mine are yeah. not. They're like soft. Yeah, but so. still, uh, I was feeling it pretty good. But uh, yeah, okay. uh, let's talk about the drip a little bit. So. Uh, to, to use this uh, Clapton coil, we, we used a uh, Diablo uh, dripper. Me Mephisto. Mephisto. El, El Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we used a Mephisto uh, El Diablo um, <clears throat> dripper. It was a really good uh, dripper. It looks really nice. It's got a uh, copper outside surrounding. Um, so at least the copper is not touching your liquid. Exactly. Uh, That's a good point. Um, it's got tiny little slots uh, for cooling uh, where before the drip tip um, touches and then the inside of it has a uh, del ring again to insulate the actual drip tip <clears throat> the well itself is a really deep well massive holes oh another thing I forgot to mention uh, it's removable you've got two <clears throat> air holes for dual uh, supply and also yeah, no, on the outer sleeve you have two parallel ones and then you have a single one for a single build if you wish to do so Absolutely. Um, and also you've got a little o-ring in there just yeah, to uh, make it nice and it stiff. Place. And you have nice engravings on the top as well. Again, you can get a little close up of the pictures of yeah, it. It's actually quite nice. Yeah, yeah well, really well done. Uh, and the dripper itself, uh, the base of the dripper, oh, yeah. it's got very wide hole, uh, holes so you can put the uh, wires through. You get lots of room for movement. Yeah, the screws are really good as well. Again, They're nice the, and strong. Yeah, the really big again they didn't cut off the wire though you just hold it in yes because it's got a, it's got the the uh, bolt itself uh, the screw itself is really uh, it's got a big surface and very flat a machine so screw yeah it's exactly flat machine screw um, is flat at the I like bottom. the way the design because some other drippers they've got tiny little Phillips screw heads and then it, it, it rounds itself off after two three uses again very well designed of how they uh, and you know yeah there's still room that. for improvement though. absolutely it, it, for yeah, like the, they just yeah, the, the deck in this section, when you put the thing in, uh, the top section in, could be a bit wider if you want to do like big yeah, builds, like exact example this one. Yeah, this they, was, they could have made a bit wider. This is really tight in there. So do, making the uh, Clapton coils again, they're really big and thick, um, and to fit them in there is a bit tricky. But yeah. again, if you use a normal single... Uh, yeah, we use the, the big screwdriver as well, Yeah. so we could just use the smaller one, so it would be fine. Absolutely. Yeah, but all in all... Great dripper, great flavor, good clouds, option for single and dual. It's got the temp uh, heat insulator at the bottom so it doesn't transfer into your mod. I was I was able to pick this up from my local shop, um, favorite shop, uh, Puff Daddy. Um, yeah, Paul. Yeah, Paul the supply helps us out. Really good place to go. They've yeah, they have a wide selection, and this was one of the things. So that's the Clapton coil and the dripper of Diablo round down. Check battery, batteries round down. <laughs> we so went through four batteries already on this mod. <laughs> it's it's ridiculous. Again, you, <laughs> it's, yeah. a, it's not an everyday vapor. You take it out in the streets and start, you know, puffing away. I actually took it today to work. Did you? Oh, yeah. that's the reason why. Yeah, I took it today to work. I'm fully testing it out and I haven't, except the cons we said on the last video, I haven't found anything wrong with it. Absolutely and not. today was for three paces, like Absolutely. 200 maximum watts. power. <clears throat> so yeah, it can it can take it can take a puff. So that's the round down. So the Clapton Coil build, building of a Clapton Coil and the Diablo uh, dripper. Uh, thank you for watching our videos. Um, yeah, this is Vaping Cuz. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and we'll see you again next time. Absolutely. Bye now. El Diablo. I come rolling through the wind. I vape through the land and the sea. Senorita. <laughs> Bad. Oh, <laughs> we're not really bad. <laughs> <laughs> we're laughing for man. <laughs> You're a bastard. <laughs> this was not recorded. <laughs>